Hi, my name is Ryan Langwish, and this is Ludo Lodge, a channel about sparking growth for game designers. And today I'm going to be looking at Nandeck again with a quick tutorial on how to link Nandeck to Google Sheets directly without having to actually download your spreadsheets. If you're new to Nandeck, um, I recommend starting with the introductory video that I'll link up in the card as well in the des description below. Um, so you can check that out. Um, but let's pretty much jump right in. So if you did watch that first Nandeck tutorial, you should recognize what you're seeing here as basically where we ended up at the end of that tutorial. Um, we're able to validate our deck here um, and build it, which just has um, a series of basic you know, prototype cards that I generated up for the example. Um, and right now we are linking, so if we look at our link here, which is the directive that's saying what spreadsheet should we be using, um, I specify Nandek Tutorial CSV, which is currently a CSV file in the same directory as this text file, as my Nandek Tutorial text. And so it sees that and then pulls in that data. But what we want to do now is we want to actually link directly to Google Sheets so that we don't have to download the spreadsheet. You might be using something like Excel or something locally on your computer, in which case it totally makes sense um, to reference the local file. But if your workflow is using Google Sheets, it can start to be a little bit of a hassle to you know, make changes in Google Sheets, download the spreadsheet, and then link it in Nandeck to regenerate your cards. And so we're going to talk about how you could link it directly, though I will, at the end of the video, talk about a little bit of the trade-offs maybe of why you would want to do it sometimes and maybe not other times. So this link directive, it actually is somewhat intelligent that if you pass it simply a Google Sheets ID that comes from the URL, it will recognize it as being a Google Sheets ID and know how to retrieve that properly. And so we're actually going to jump into Google Sheets now to see what that's going to look like from that perspective. So here I have my spreadsheet that is I used um, to generate that deck. I just have the four different types of cards with how many of them there each should be, and they have their cost description and images specified. Um, and before we had gone in and we had downloaded this as a CSV file um, to then be used by Nandeck. But we actually are going to reference it directly by using this ID up here. So this part of the URL that kind of has, oops, I do not want to know the definition. <laughs> nice Mac hard click. Um, this section of it, this long ID, is what Nandek is going to recognize as kind of a Google Sheets ID. However, right now, by default, your sheet is going to be private to your Google Drive account. And so Nandek is going to have no way of accessing it, just like some other person wouldn't be able to access it um, without you specifically giving the uh, correct permissions. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go up to this share button. It says private to only me. If I open this up, um, it will give me an option. Here, in the get link, it says restricted, only people added can open this link. I want to change that to anyone with the link. So If I click this, um, it now says anyone on the internet with this link can view. And that is exactly what we want um, because now we can say done. And now we can grab this and when Nandek tries to access it, <laughs> do that again, when Nandek tries to access it, it's going to be able to because it's now you know a publicly available link. So I'm going to grab this and I copied it and now we're going to jump back into Nandek. So all we have to do here because Nandek um, is uh, generally aware of Google Sheets IDs is paste this in here instead of our um, other local file name. And now if we validate our deck, it'll take a little second here. Um, and you'll see down in the console validating link step one it went down and it says deck valid and now we're going to build it um, and you'll notice it generates all the same cards that we had before but now it's generating it from the Google Sheets spreadsheet and what this means is say we wanted to make a change to our game maybe attack cards they need to deal 15 damage um, if I jump back into Google Sheets I can come in to my attack row and I can change the description to say deal 15 damage. And without exporting it or anything, I can jump back into Nandek. And if I validate the deck quick here, and then I rebuild the deck, 
you will notice that all of our attacks now deal 15 damage. And so I now have this workflow where I can update things in Google Sheets and I can come back here and, and build the deck and it's gonna pull in all those changes without me needing to download it or manage any files, which is great. And that's actually the whole tutorial. That's, you know, that's all you need to know to do that. But let's talk a little bit about why you might wanna use this sometimes and maybe not other times. The main trade-off here is really a, a, a performance thing of when I validate the deck and it's going to Google Sheets to get that, that's gonna be a slower operation generally than if I have that file locally. And you can, it makes sense if, if Nandeck needs to read go and get that information from a file, it's gonna be quicker to get it locally off your computer than it is to go over the internet and pull it from Google Sheets. So that's the first kind of trade-off. The second one is kind of, um, what if you don't have internet? Say you want, are in a situation where you wanna work on, work with Nandek or do something. If you aren't connected to the internet, you're not gonna be able to pull in any of that spreadsheet data. You will not be able to you know, validate and build your deck. Whereas if you had a local file, you can do all of your work with, um, you know, changing what the card looks like and all the visuals without having to worry about using the internet at all because you're doing it all locally. So if there's a chance that that's gonna be in your workflow that you could be somewhere without internet and wanting to work on this kind of thing, it's a good reason to wanna to have um, a local file. And now you could very easily just have two links here, um, but not have them active at the same time. So say I had, you know, the old one that was nandectutorial.csv. I could comment one out, kind of like I have these comments for settings just by putting a semicolon in front of it. And so right now I'm referencing the Google Sheets version, but if I ever wanted to use a local copy of it, I could just switch the comment and use the local copy. And so this could be useful. Maybe you find that, you know, when you're making a lot of changes to the visuals of the card, you're gonna be doing a lot of validating the deck and building the deck repeatedly and repeatedly to be able to see it and make, make those changes. So during that, maybe it makes sense to work with a local file that's gonna just work a little more quickly with that. Since the spreadsheet isn't changing much, it's your Nandek file that's gonna be changing a lot. However, later in the development, you may find that your card layout is pretty consistent and stays the same, but now you're doing a lot of tweaking of values based on play testing and changes to the data in the spreadsheet. And that might be a reason to switch to using the Google Sheets ID more often so that as you make those changes, you can just come in here and once, you know, validate and build and pull those all in. So it's nice to have the option. Um, and I think it's good to know about both of them. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you've worked with Nandek, maybe you didn't know that. I know I early on didn't know that you could do that um, with Google Sheets. Um, if you found it helpful, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Let me know maybe what you'd like to see um, tutorials for in Nandek, and I will see you in the next video.